वेलकम बैक टू चेयर अप टूडे विल बी एक्सप्लोरिंग नॉर्दर्न पार्ट ऑफ वायनाड केरला सो लेट्स गो द प्लेसेस वी आर अबाउट टू विजिट आर ऑल नियर कुर्ग Tirunelli Temple also known as Kashi of the South the temple is dedicated to Mahavishnu and the architecture is very old with stone pillars and tiled roofs the belief is that lord brahma himself installed and consecrated the idol of lord vishnu here when he saw the idol resting on a gooseberry tree gooseberry is known as nelli in malayalam and so the name tirunelli You can see the place where Brahma performed havan inside the main temple premises. Historical records suggest Chera king Kulashekharan as the founder. Tirunelli was once an important pilgrim town. Fresh air, majestic Brahmagiri hills and cold clear waters of Papanashini stream makes this place an ideal visit for some much needed peace of mind. The temple is famous for funeral and ancestral rituals and it is believed that Sri Rama had performed the ancestral rites for his father here. Here you can see the aqueduct. It is said that the priest could not provide water to the wife of Chirakkel Raja when she had come to the temple due to scarcity of water in the temple premises. To solve the water crisis in the temple permanently She sent men and material to construct this aqueduct which stands the test of time even today. I tried googling to get the name of the woman who did it in a quest to make visible the names of women history erases. But unfortunately everywhere she is just mentioned as the wife of Chirakkel Raja and nothing else. Maybe a historian can help here. 15 minutes walk from the temple via these steps and stone paved paths along the banks of stream Papanashini will take you to the place where you can do the funeral rites a dip in these waters is considered to wash away your sins on the way you will find Panchatirtham a beautiful pond which at one point of time was a meeting point of five rivers here you will find the footsteps of Vishnu temple which is dedicated to lord shiva so in tirunelli you have all the trimurtis present here you will find loads and loads of stones stacked up on each other done by pilgrims open from morning 5 to 12 and evenings 5:30 to 8 for more information i have passed the link of the temple in the description box next place of visit is kurvadweep it is about 20 km from here but on the way do make a stop at kutetan's onniyappam shop 
and fill your tummies with a yummy snack. Parcel some home and share the sweetness with others. This beautiful island of Kurva is formed by Kabini River. And even though the island is closed due to environmental reasons, they offer a 15 minutes bamboo raft ride towards the island and back. Unfortunately, because of the rains, as waters were pretty high, they had stopped the ride till waters recede. But no worries, we took a walk along the pathway, sat on the river bank, clicked some pics and gazed at the fishing rods placed along the banks. <laughs> Here we tried something called the Vainaden filter coffee. It was. Opting for an ice cream is any day a better idea. There is zip lining option also available here. The price is rupees 200 per person. So even though the island is closed, you do have some options to spend some time in Kurvadvi. Next to Kurwadwi, there is a tribal museum. The price is rupees 30 per person and it will take you about 15 minutes to see it. There are clay models, tribal ornaments, tribal weapons and there's an art gallery upstairs. Our next destination is Parshiraja Museum and Tomb. Parshiraja was a warrior king who laid down his life fighting the British. He mobilized people of all castes, classes, creeds and religions. Through guerrilla warfare tactics, he even defeated Major General Ardo Wellesley. By resorting to treachery, the British trapped him and in the fight that ensued, he attained martyrdom. Out of respect for his courage and indomitable spirit, he was cremated with military honours by the British at this place. The museum hosts records of Parshiraja, artefacts depicting tribal ways of life, ancient jars and other excavations from Vainath's prehistoric era. It will take about 15 minutes to see the museum. You can spend another 10 minutes at the memorial and the small park nearby. It closes at 4.30. And the tickets are priced at rupees 15 for adults and rupees 5 for children. From here, in another half an hour, you will reach E3 theme park. Even though it is open till 5:30, they will issue tickets only till 3:30. And that's because you will have to spend a minimum of four hours to see everything here. So we kind of had to hurry up. It is better to plan a trip to spend a full day here. Kids will surely love this place.
As we could not complete seeing the whole park, I will do another video only on this park as there's loads to see. So I hope you all liked the video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you still have not yet done that. Thank you.